Welcome to another video of Tableau Learning Series, video number 3, presented by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create hierarchies in Tableau hierarchies. Uh, also, we will see how to extract data from the, the source and store it inside the TB, the TBE, which is Tableau Extract File, and use that for faster response time in reports. So, in this video, you will learn three things. The first is how to create a hierarchy. The second is how to extract the data from Tableau and how to switch the source of connection from Tableau Extract to Live Data and Back. So let's get started. So here on the left, I have department and a manager, which falls a, which creates a hierarchy. So what department have multiples, right? So I'll put this manager, just drag this manager and drop it in the department. You can see create hierarchy. I would say BPT hierarchy. Now in the hierarchy you have department and manager. You can also have employee as a part of hierarchy. You can you can choose a level. So it is three-dimensional hierarchy. Item category and item code also forms a hierarchy here. So I can say item name just then drop it inside item category and I would say item hierarchy and let's see how it behaves. So I'm gonna drag and drop item hierarchy column section and say department hierarchy So this is cellular, cosmetic, and electronic. And if I expand this, cellular, AT&T, Edison, cosmetics, powder, and soap. And you can see electronics, DD, and all. Right. Now you can save this as hierarchy representation. Save this. Now on the second topic of the day, which is through extraction. You can see here the data source connection with a small tick mark, which means that it's directly connected to a CSV file. I want to extract it. I would write here and say extract data. As soon as I extract data, it will give 
an option to filter out. The database could be having millions and billions of records, right? So you don't want to extract everything or you just want to extract a subset. This is how you can control it you can, and apply a filter. Or you can extract if you know that the data is not too much. We'll talk about refreshes and the additions and negations coming in the next videos. I click on extract and tries to extract the data in a tabview file. You can see executing query extracting data. Importing the data and it is writing the metadata. Now you can see there is a small change in the icon which is a small arrow on the right which is extracted. If I right click here and it says use extract. Now if the database, the underlying database gets refreshed, the data would still be stale. It won't be the latest data. I've, if you can look at the extract, you can say refresh. If I click on refresh, it brings in the latest version of the data and replace the existing content. Or I can right click again and say extract, add another data set from the file, optimize and and I can also see the historical. So it was a full refresh, it were, uh, which was done just a few minutes back and with 58 records. Now, I want to switch it back to the live data connection. I would just go and uncheck this box, which is use extract. You can see here that it's switching the connection. It's it's so powerful tool and it can switch it back to the extract and, and back to the live data. You can see here again that it's converted into the live. So we learned a few things today. The first is how to create hierarchies, how to create the extract and how to switch between extract and live connection. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.